everyone, Matt here from Docs Run, and today we're going to do a sub two on the Mizuno Wave Rider 27. So this is Mizuno's flagship neutral daily training shoe. It has changed quite a bit in the last several years. It went from being this kind of snappy, a little bit lighter shoe, lighter feeling shoe, to then it got really soft and flexible. And then the last version, 26, got clunky, what felt like heavier and just not as comfortable overall. So this version dials that back into where it kind of should be, but still is that new age rider. So let's talk about what's going on with this shoe. It's supposed to be an upper update, although to be honest with you, the sole also feels different. Specs wise coming in at 9.9 .9 ounces for men's size nine, 8.3 ounces for women's size eight, 12 millimeter drop as it always has been. We do not have official spec heights, uh, stack heights, I'm sorry. And I would put this though in the higher stack. So like probably upper thirties in the rear foot, mid twenties in the, in the forefoot, what I would guess, but we don't have official measurements. It still feels like a 12 millimeter drop shoe. This version was really supposed to be an upper update only, but as I said, the sole feels different. Upper feels very normal width. It's a nice, comfortable upper. It's got a little stretch, but it doesn't feel too wide or too narrow. It does stretch a little bit to accommodate the feet, but feels great. They said they stiffened the heel counter. It honestly feels the same to me so pretty simple upper fits very normally comfortably gets out of your way it's nice the sole is what really felt different to me the last version felt clunky stiff and took forever to break in and i almost I gave up on it basically um and i was kind of nervous with this one but the transition was so much smoother the foam feels more compliant underfoot there's a little bit more flexibility it's not super flexible just enough to make this comfortable foam again 12 millimeter drop but i land back here it feels like 8 to 10 instead of that 12 millimeter it's comfortable it gets out of the way so i don't want, don't want to call this shoe boring but it's consistent in a good way so if you want a 12 millimeter drop shoe which there aren't very many left out there this is one of the good ones it'll give you a consistent ride and if you've liked this shoe before you'll probably like it again